Kelvin Gastelum, he's gonna pressure you, you know. That's what makes this matchup, I think, so intriguing for so many people. You know, Neil Magny doesn't stop. Kelvin Gastelum is an opponent that my coaches and I talked about for a while and thought would be a good matchup for me. Uh, I just didn't think it will happen on two weeks' notice, but that's the amount of notice I've had, and we just kind of made the best of it at the time. Oh, nice one, two, three there by Magny. All three punches landed. The game plan of the fight was to, to stay long, stay active, use my footwork, use my uh, boxing, whatever, but the very first punch that I threw, it landed right in the top of his head, and it kind of hurt my hand, and uh, it made it difficult to throw a jab. I mean, I was trying to uh, just use my left hand as like get to kind of parry and like slap and like set up a cross, but I was getting yelled at by the ref to close my hand and not, not leave my fingers open or whatever, so it, I went from having a game plan to outstrike a grappler to like, all right, I have one hand, I need to out grapple a grappler now. Another takedown for Neil Magny, and again, takes the back immediately. So I had to like adjust on the fly, and it ended up working out well for me. And it's rare for Kelvin Gastelum to run into a fighter that can match and maybe exceed his pressure game. Big right from Magny, lands flush. The Kelvin Gastelum fight was the biggest of my career. I mean, it definitely tested me in a way I hadn't been tested before. I mean, actually going there and trying to fight the five rounds against Kelvin Gastelum definitely opened my eyes and showed me that I need to, uh, approach a five-round fight a lot differently than a three-round fight. You know, do something we love all together across the world. This is very important right now. Thank you guys so much for being a great audience. There's nothing else as well that I'd be doing to be here right now. Before for you guys, living the dream.